If you feel overwhelmed by all the constant changes in AI and you don't know what tools you should be subscribed to and which ones you shouldn't be, this is going to be the best video that you've ever watched because by the end of it, you're going to know about the most powerful AI tool I've ever used that gives you access to everything you could ever want to do with AI. It allows you to create websites. It allows you to create videos, images, access every single LLM, and even automate your work with AI agents. So let's dive into exactly what that tool is and four crazy use cases that are going to blow your mind. Now, the tool that I'm talking about is going to be Abacus AI because this tool is mind-blowing. It gives you access to pretty much everything you could ever think of when it comes to using AI. For example, you're going to get access to every single LLM that exists. You're also going to get access to this AI engineer that allows you to create your own AI workflow that can automate your work or a custom chatbot. It also gives you access to MCP and AI workflows. And you can see right here, you can actually schedule out anything that you get this tool to do as a task. In addition to that, you're going to see that you could click on here and build and deploy apps. You could click on code LLM and it's an AI assisted code editor. And if you click into more right here, you could see a handful of different things that you could do with this. For example, you could humanize content. You could scrape URLs. You could analyze videos. You could do text to speech, speech to text, speech to speech, and be able to change things into different languages, or you could use this to create videos, to create images, and so much more. In addition to that, if we click into Deep Agent right here, this allows you to do so many different things that are absolutely insane. You could literally tell this exactly what you want to do in order to automate something, and it will build out a tool build out a workflow or an AI agent that's able to do it. It can create short form content and post it for you. You could have this literally automate X for you. You could have it create content, respond to comments, look at other people's posts in your niche and reply on those. And the craziest part about this is it doesn't require you to set up API access or MCP access to anything because you literally just tell this tool what you want to do and it goes ahead, finds those MCPs, finds API access and sets it up for you. Now, I don't want to just keep telling you about it. I actually want to show it to you. The first thing that I want to show you is that this actually gives you access to real-time searches with both Claude Sonnet and with Grok 4. So if I was to go on Grok 4 myself or Claude Sonnet myself, I can't actually get access to real-time search. In fact, this is the only way for you to be able to do this. So let's pull up Grok 4 right here and then ask it a question like this. Are there any job openings being shared by VCs or founders right now in real time? I'm going to give it to this and this is going to go through and actually find the answer to that. Now, while this is doing this, what I'm going to do is I am going to open up Grok because I also have access to Grok. We could come over here and change this to Grok 4 and ask Grok the same exact thing. And let's see which one of these answers actually comes back with real time information. And look at the difference in responses that we get here. From Grok, we're getting responses from July 31st, the 30th, 28th, the 28th. And if I look down here, it's August 2nd. But if I come to chat LOM, guess what? And I click on this, we could see that this post right here is from August 2nd. This post right here is also from August 2nd. So if you want to actually get real time information, you need to be using Abacus AI using Grok in order to actually do it because Grok itself won't actually give you that. In fact, the information here is old and this is going to be really hurtful and not helpful if you need that real time information. And again, it doesn't only do that for Grok. Let's do the same exact thing with Claude Sonnet 4. If we come over here and say, tell me a quick overview of what the latest research topics and artificial intelligence are that are popular in the community in real time and which ones are close to being a real next breakthrough. If we give that to Claude Sonnet 4, over on chat LM versus if we come over to Claude Sonnet 4 on Claude and do it here, let's see how big of a difference there actually is when this gives us a result. So we could see that this is gathering its thoughts and then it's going to reply to us. And we could see that this is actually already done. If we come down here, this gives us the most popular things and it gave us to it incredibly quickly. But if we come back over to Claude over here, we could see this is still trying to do this. And for some reason, it tells you that it's searching the web, but it doesn't actually come through with real time breakthroughs. And one thing that I'm actually really surprised about is how slow this actually is. So if we come over here, we could see this. Now let's actually look at this and see when this is from. 
This is from February 5th. This has nothing to do with what's actually going on. Let's come down here and find another one right here. This is from January 8th. Again, not real time, not what we prompted with, only chat LM gives us real-time results. Now, before we get into a few of those other use cases that are going to keep blowing your mind, I wanted to remind you, you can get started with Abacus AI at the pinned comment below for only $10 a month. Again, this tool is an absolute no-brainer. It's going to allow you to unsubscribe from all the other tools you're currently subscribed to, because why would you have a bunch of subscriptions when you can have an all-in-one that allows you to access everything that you want. But again, that's not the only thing that we could do here. If we come over here and we click on Deep Agent, we can do one of these tasks like what I did over here. So if we come over here, I told this, I said, please create an AI workflow. And it came back, asked me a few questions around the main purpose, what type of input I should give it, what type of output it should give me, and if there are any specific steps and processes. So what I did was I said, one, I want you to scrape this website right here. Two, it should receive the results of that. Three, the output should be a summarization of all the news articles from the last 24 hours with updates, actionable insights, and use cases. And then here are the specific steps. And I went through and told it exactly what to do. Now, what this did is absolutely insane. In fact, the reason that I asked it to do this is because this is how I keep track of all of my latest AI updates. I've actually automated this so I don't have to personally go through and manually do this. If there is anything, that you were checking on a daily basis, you could build out the same exact thing or even doing on a daily basis, quite frankly. So if we come down here, we could see that this went through and coded an AI workflow. Now, I don't want to bore you, but look at how long this is. This is insane. This would have taken somebody weeks to do, but this tool did it in seconds and it only used 202 credits, which is absolutely nothing. So now we actually have this tool done right here. And we could see exactly what this tool looks like and go through all of the different nodes here. Now, if we come over here in a test workflow, let's actually test this out. I then put this into this website scraper that I created, and you'll see it is going to get to work scraping the websites and the results here are going to blow your mind. Okay, so what we could see here is this actually spun up the ability to go through and actually find 19 different blog posts from this website. It went through, it fetched them, it got all of the different content on them. And now if we scroll down, we could see that it actually went through and analyzed all of these, gave us the URL, a summary, key updates, actionable insights, and use cases. And guess what I can now do with all of this? I could turn this into content which I'm doing right now. I could turn this into short form content. I could turn this into posts that I share on my school community. The opportunities are endless. And AI just did all the work for me because I built out a workflow for this. And you can do the same exact thing and begin automating your work. Now use case number three is that you can also use this in order to create images or create videos. All you have to do is click on image right here. And as you could see, you literally have access to dozens of different image tools from a bunch of different companies. Now, ImageN4 is the best image tool right now. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna choose that model. I'm gonna say I want one image and then I can give it a prompt. And this actually has the ability to modify the input prompt for improved image generation results. I could change the aspect ratio. I could give it a negative prompt and I could change the seed right here. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, create a hyper realistic photo of a dinosaur walking through Manhattan. Now, I'm gonna click on generate right here. This is going to go through and this is actually going to do this. Now, while that's going through and doing that, I did wanna open up a new window here and I wanted to show you video creation also because you could pretty much do the same thing with this. So if we come over here and we click on video generation, you're gonna see the same thing. This goes through and this gives us access to tons of different tools. In fact, almost a dozen different image generation tools. Personally, I like VO3 the most here and we could put in a prompt, we can modify the input, we could generate audio, we could have it do fast or standard mode, we could change the aspect ratio and we could add in a negative prompt or seed again if we wanted to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and say generate a video of a bunch of rabbits jumping on a trampoline. Now, I'm not sure if you saw that video recently that's been going super viral about a bunch of rabbits jumping on a trampoline, but it did fool both me and my fiance. So I wanna see if this is able to recreate this on 
VO3. Now, if we come over here, look at how realistic this looks. This even has the reflection of this dinosaur on the building right here, which is pretty crazy. And if we wanted to, we could come over here and we could have it edit this, we could have it change things, or we could try this with a different model to see if it creates a better or worse image all from one tool without having to subscribe to a bunch of different ones. So now that this is actually done, I want you to check this out. And by the way, you can also generate videos with audio and longer durations if you use DeepH versus using chat LLM like I'm doing right here again. You get it all within the same tool. Now check this out because this is pretty crazy. It has the rabbits jumping hyper-realistically. It has great lighting and this is insane. I mean, what is the world going to look like? few months down the road, a year down the road, two years down the road, where people aren't going to be able to distinguish what is real from what isn't real. Now, the last thing I did want to show off here is how you can actually get this to become an AI influencer, because this is just mind-blowing. I cannot believe that this exists. And again, this is something that's super unique to Abacus AI because of the deep roots that they have with X. So if we come over here and ask it something like this, read the last 10 tweets from Abacus AI's X and post similar tweets promoting Deep Agent with its capabilities in an organic manner. You can also include a hot take in the tweet to grab attention, post two tweets every day at intervals of two hours a day, and then watch what this actually goes off and does. We could see that this goes through, asks us a few questions, we answer them, and then prompts us to sign into our X. Once that's actually done, it gives you an overview of everything that it's done, and you can have this task repeat itself so that it's constantly putting out content like this right here. And as we could see, you could literally go through and click through all the tweets that it did. And what's crazy about this is in the past, you would have had to hire a social media manager to do this, or you would have had to do this yourself. But now if you're using a tool like that, you don't have to. You can literally have this automatically create social media content for you. In fact, you could automate really anything that you want with how powerful their API and MCP access is and the ability for this just to spin up workflows and create tests that get repeated on autopilot while you spend time doing the things you actually want to do. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this one right here that shows you how you can actually start making money using this tool. I'll see you over there.